Scorekeeper. It's an amazing game that I'm really starting to get addicted to. It feels like Terraria all over again, and I'm really enjoying every minute in the world. The more I learn about this game, the more I just enjoy it. And I've come across a treasure room. We have a mysterious doll set. Wow. I was kind of hoping for that to be something more interesting, but instead that was a disappointment. Just like me and most of my videos. So for now, I guess we'll just go ahead and throw those in the box of valuables because I don't really know what to do with those. Core Keeper is also having its first ever event, which is really reminiscent of Terraria to me. So we have Easter eggs for the great Easter hunt. So now, um, I don't actually entirely understand what these materials are saying, but apparently we need five of every egg in the game. Now, um, I figured out how we get brown and how we get gray Easter eggs. The gray come from the stone biome over on the left side, and the um, brown come from this like dirt area. So I'm gonna assume one of them come from this area here, and then there's gotta be another biome somewhere. Now, go. I went up and down previously, and this is like the clay biome all the way to right here. And then there's this little core room, which is pretty cool. But I don't think we, like I've went very far over into this biome. I haven't seen anything. So I think today we're gonna go further into the larva area and try and explore over there. So let's go ahead and take a ride over there because I installed these mineways for a reason. I meant railways. And I also didn't finish this railway, so that works just fine. I'm glad I have to run the rest of the way. We still haven't killed the worm, which I really want to do, but we're gonna have to figure out how to do that. I did find some pretty cool items that we'll look at later, maybe, um, over in the stone forgotten ancient area. So maybe that'll be part of it. Speaking of which, actually, one of the things I found was this massive battle axe, and it does like 260 damage per hit. It's an incredible weapon. The, normally, anytime I see a wide open chasm like that, it's a biome transition. Um, so maybe there is something over here. I don't know. I did bring some blocks to build across though. So let's go ahead and just start traversing the gap. Okay, there are some of these big guys. We just gotta carefully kill them. And you know, once we myrtleize them, then it's uh, all okay. I really like this battle ax because it just kills everything super easily. Ah, rose Easter egg. Okay, so this is where we find um, the rose Easter eggs. So we can farm a bunch of those fairly easily over here. I do want to kill all these bugs because I would like to light up the area. And I think we also have to remove the eggs from the floor. So the way creatures spawn in this game is they spawn on these like tiles. So the slime spawn on slime, like the slime that's on the floor. And these larvae spawn on these like larvae eggs. And we can actually then build a farm with them, which which is, was really reminiscent of Terraria to me. Like the more I've played this, the more I just start feeling that nostalgia of playing Star er, of playing Terraria. I almost said Stardew Valley and I don't know why, but oh, so a pickaxe can mine the floor tiles, but it takes a couple hits compared to the shovel is a one hit wonder. So it would have been smarter for me just to be using my shovel this whole time. That makes it way easier. I also didn't realize I could pick up those wooden crates. That's pretty cool. Oh, this would be an incredible thing if we had drills because we have three tin ores, a gold and a copper here. So we could just like mine everything all in one spot, which is always better than being spread out. These big guys you have to be careful of because they uh, they try and sneak up on you and then go for a massive attack, which will just one shot you if you're not careful. I really feel dangerous taking the time to light up the whole area because of how many bug nests there are, because if I don't delete every single one of these like little hives on the floor, um, they can just respawn on, which uh, would be very disappointing to me. So I'm trying to be very thorough and eradicate the, ooh, what is that? This is like an alien wall. What is this? I can't at all damage this. There's gotta be a way into this, right? It's a solid mass of whatever this is. Like it isn't just one thick. Wait, is this like the map border I wonder? But then like why make, why make it an open gap all the way along the border? Currently, I need a lot of wood, so uh, I should also be taking the time to gather all of this wood, but uh, I'm just so intrigued by whatever this is. I kind of thought the world was infinite, but I wonder if it's like boxed in. Okay, now we have to follow this. I'm gonna harvest a lot of this wood though, because 
I've been extremely short on wood and I'm gonna be crafting a lot of torches here and all that. So I have run along this wall for a very long time and it looks like it is just a mass wall. So it's either a blockade to another place or this is the edge of the map. So yeah, I guess we just are going to find something else to do because there's nothing over there for now. Well, that took forever to get back, but at least I put in this railway. Now I can get back to the base faster. All of the different food you can cook in this game is very interesting to me because there's so many different combinations. You can combine basically every ingredient and it just combines its stats into something else. For the most part, all of these seem to be basic foods though, as they all give around 21 to 24 food. Um, I think we're gonna make an attempt on killing Gorm because yeah, might as well. Um, I did find a couple of these bombs, but I don't, there's like no way that I've found to craft these so far, except I haven't ever crafted this alchemy table. Wait, maybe this is where it is. I also want to set up some farms maybe with the spike trap, but that's a lot of tin. So let's make an alchemy table real quick. So we need the tin, wood, and uh, what was the other thing? Now we'll go ahead and craft this bad boy and smack him down right here. And that is how you do it, bomb peppers. In a perfect world, I'd never even need to farm. So let's go ahead and just take all of the bomb peppers I currently have and let's go ahead and which oh it was the alchemy table how many of these can i craft 13 okay well we're gonna take 13 bombs and go pay gorm a visit because i think uh i think with all of this power combined we're gonna have what it takes to kill him because if we don't then uh we're never going to so let's go see if we can find gorm my thought process right now is just going to be to walk oh here he comes so i wanted to try to get some of these off on him Ow. So I don't know if we can actually catch up to him or not. That's currently my biggest problem is he's so fast that I don't think we can. Oh, there, we were close there. Uh, we got a ranged combat thing. So I think he's burning, but I'm just not fast enough to keep up with him right now, which is really disappointing because I need to be. Do I just chase him like this? I wonder, will I get there eventually and like be able to kill him? Or do I need to come up with a different strategy of doing this? Oh, we even ranged him or something. Oh, we seem to have enraged him. So that bomb definitely hurt his face. Oh, he is almost hitting us there. Aha, how do you like the, my bombs? Oh, well. Oh, he's gonna get on that one. Let's go. Nice. Okay. I think we are greatly overpowered all of a sudden for him. And yeah, maybe I waited a little longer than I should have to fight him. But, you know, that's fine by me because an easier fight for my simple mind is everything I want. And there we go. Gorm the Devourer is dead. And we got some stuff here. So, what did we get? Uh, a larva chest. 27 max health, 14 armor, minus movement speed, but more mining damage. Don't be anything else. Be grub. Well, Rust players would love that. Gorm's stomach bag, plus 12 inventory slots. That is more than this backpack, so there we go. I will take that. And a mysterious idol. Looking for mysterious idols if placed in a habitable room. Okay, so we've got another NPC, so let's pick up that box. And now, well, we have to... I have to make the long run back. At least I think there's a way home over here that's decently quick. I'll hope anyway. Well, I had wanted to kill Gorm in the last video and it didn't quite work out, but apparently I overgeared to kill Gorm this time around. So yeah, I don't, uh, I guess maybe we'll look for another boss to fight. Maybe that would be a cool thing to do today. I'm not entirely sure because I didn't really plan on just deleting Gorm that fast. But now I'm kind of interested in what I can do. Let's go ahead and just slap this ancient idol down in this room and uh, see what happens with that because I'm guessing there'll be a dude here someday. And then let's also go ahead and just smack this inside of Gorm the Devourer and see what we're gonna unlock. So we unlock the Carapace helmet. Oh, okay, so what is this? 17 max health, 10% armor, more explosives damage, 27, 15 armor, but, um, oh, so this is actually better. 25, 12, and this is 27, 15. So this is actually much better, and it's 10 armor. Well, that's kind of awkward. I made my iron armor, and it's not even as good as this stuff. Ah, the recall idol. That is a very useful thing to have access to, actually, because the gemstone and mechanical part are pretty common over in the um, new area or whatever that's called. And uh, now we just need to find the hive mother. I don't exactly know what I'm looking for. This, to me, 
looks like uh, those lizard dudes, or like not the lizard dudes, the larva. So maybe she lives over there. We probably should check that out. I've been thinking about the slime sword, but now I have a battle axe that does just way more. Oh, we can actually craft a hive mother scanner. Scans the world for the hive mother. Well, I think we'll go ahead and craft that actually, because I just have absolutely metric tons of this stuff right now anyways. Let's go ahead and craft one and use it. How's this work? We have located her, the hive mother. So it is over there in the larva lands, it's down there. So that's actually pretty cool. Now, what happens if I do a Gorm scan? Because I killed Gorm, so I'm assuming nothing was found. Yeah, I mean, that, logically, I didn't think you would find anything, so that's good, I guess. I am gonna craft like a couple of these, like 20. Um, that way I can just have them on me and just return home whenever I screw something up. I don't have to run all the way home and that's gonna make me a happier person. Well, I think since we know what we're up against, I mean, we don't really at all, but we know it's a hive mother and we know where she is. I think we should go ahead and take a shot at this because we have some bombs left. We still have some food. We have ranged weapons. We have the ensign staff or whatever we wanna call it. I think our odds are pretty good at killing the hive mother. So I'm gonna head over here and try and fight my way to her. I don't know, you know, how this fight's gonna go, but we're gonna try it. This is just gonna be a lot of digging, so uh, yeah, I'll see you when I find the mother. Well, I'm not at the hive mother, but I found something else that's really weird over here. These walls are moving and there's like sunlight coming down and oh wow, these walls take absolutely forever to destroy. This, that's incredible. What does a bomb do to these walls? Okay, these walls are highly, highly durable. I'm really hoping that I won't have to dig through this in order to get to the hive mother, because if I do, that's gonna be a lot of trips to repair pickaxes. Why is the light shining down on the water here? I'm very confused. The walls are moving. It's very kind of trippy, and uh, I don't see, I don't see anything here that like really piques my interest. And I have the best pickaxe physically possible right now. You guys should be glad that I'm cutting this out because it takes like 30 seconds for me just to mine one single block. So we found a grub knot, healing potion, and crude bombs. None of this is, uh, none of this is worth much to me right now because what the heck? Okay, those worms still die fairly. Oh, oh, that's acid. And that guy is bigger and way stronger. So we're just gonna have to slowly push our way into these uh, worms and they are actually very strong. They take three hits from my great ax, which is uh, quite incredible actually. Ground acid slime. I don't know if that's gonna be useful for anything or not, but I'm also kind of uh, intrigued by the fact I can just spoon it up. We need to get through this and uh, find the queen. Oh, wait, what was that? What is this? A hive spike trap. There's actual spike traps here, so we don't even have to craft our uh, spike traps. We can find them for free here. Oh, and here we go. There's a room full of them. Ow. Okay, just don't walk on top of them. So we could make an entire base with these, um, like a farm with these, so then I don't have to craft anything, and that is easier on me. I'm sure these aren't as good as the ones I can craft, though, because there's always gonna be some form of trade-off, so we'll have to check out what their damage is later. But for now, I'm going to collect all of them because free spike traps. There's uh, way too many of these spike traps. I don't pay enough attention to not die to that. We got a musket, 201 damage. That's way more than our ranged mortar, so this is actually, this is extremely good. Oop, no, I shot the... Okay, uh... Uh, okay, it's worse than our sword. Oh, that's a lot of guys. Oh, I'm stuck! Okay, that worked out fine. Okay, so the stone is just normal stone walls. That mine's way easier than these hive walls. These hive walls are absolutely insane. There are a lot of other guys in there too. Maybe it'll be like a hive, so we'll be fighting all the little guys. That'd be kind of a cool little uh, fight, I think. Or, or it could spit acid or something, to be honest. That would also make a lot of sense. It's gonna spit acid. 
So if I just carefully remove all the acid as the boss spits it, I think I'll be okay. Oh, but it's gonna spawn these hive eggs. Oh, that's very bad. Okay, can I get some passive burning while I uh, kill all the minions? That would really help. And if I get hit by one of these big guys, I'm dead. So that's kind of scary as well. Oh no, my, my big axe just broke. So now I just got a little weaker one. Is it gonna like ascend? Oh, ow. Ooh, that was a lot of my health gone pretty fast there. Okay, we're just gonna resort to ranged fighting because ranged fighting is a lot easier than fighting this guy like we're intended to probably. And there's starting to be a lot of worms in here, so uh, this is gonna get hectic probably. There is way too many of these guys to fight. We need like a much stronger weapon or ability to fight them. So we managed to get the Hive Mother to half health, but yeah, that's, we definitely, we don't have quite the firepower to fight that. So I'm not entirely sure how I wanna go about that. That was, actually, I think I would have been fine if my ax hadn't broke, so, um, Maybe I just go ahead and repair my axe and then we go back and oh my armor oh my armor also broke so yeah we kind of lost everything there um, I think if we can avoid losing literally everything we have on us we would have been okay okay and because I'm severely overkill let's go ahead and craft the bug armor because you know it's just gonna make my life better Look at us. I look like an evil little orange demon, and I like it. And this guy moved in, so it was this guy. This is who we were supposed to find, so that's kind of cool. So we can summon the bosses again, and this was the guy you could buy the musket from, but I got one for free, so thank you, but I don't need any of your garbage. I think eventually we'll make themed housing for all of our villagers, but for now, I don't really care about them. I want to progress and kill things. Okay, well, we're back alive over here. Let's go ahead and eat up some of these foods that give me buffs, and uh, yeah, then we're going to go ahead and kill this guy and see how it goes. Now, I think before we start the fight, I'm gonna remove all of the acid off the ground because I should have done that before I ate the food. But the acid on the ground really was painful last time around. That was like, that's what was a big painkiller once we got halfway into the fight. So all of this has to go. We need a clean restart for the fight. Okay, cleared out all of the acid. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and eat another one of these pies. And we're gonna go ahead and just start stabbing the Hive Mother. I wanna go ahead and also light the Hive Mother on fire and wanna try and break these eggs before they hatch. That's gonna be like my main priority. Um, let's see what a bomb does. Okay, the bomb doesn't do anything too fancy, but my biggest priority is preventing the growths of these eggs. So if we stop fighting the moment they spawn and start harvesting them, I think we're gonna be okay. That was my mistake from the last fight. It would also be intelligent not to stand next to her when I launch the uh, acid attack. That way I can, you know, stay alive through it. And I wanna try this theory. Bomb next to the hive. Okay, well that doesn't work out. So whenever we, oh no, one of those eggs are spawning, go. Okay, that's not gonna work out, so... Okay, so just like before, this is starting to get a very, like, to be a very hectic fight where there's just too many of the little minions for me to, like, successfully handle stabbing her and all of the minions. The Hive Mother is pretty low, though, health-wise, so... If I could just get a period where I can smack her a lot, I think I'd be okay. Um, that was a lot of damage though right there. And she's super low. I think I can finish her right there. Yeah, there we go. Explode, Hive Mother. Okay. Well, wow. that was a lot of effort for literally nothing of any value at all. We got a chest. That's about the most valuable item from that fight. So, uh, yeah, I guess, uh... I guess we'll just now, uh, why am I running home? We just recall home with one of my magical eggs. Ta-da, I'm at the core. Okay, so Hive Mother, 
Let's go ahead and plug you in. And we have powered the core. Okay. Uh, the Larva Spike Club. That actually looks like garbage. Yeah, that's still that's garbage compared to what I have. So what about this? The Grubzooka. Projectile pierces through enemies. Now that's actually kind of a cool weapon in my opinion, even though it's like low damage. Ancient Hologram Pod, a strange device that mod or materializes spirits of the past. Well, we're gonna craft that because I have all of the stuff needed for that. Uh, also, why is my lantern... Oh, this is a bigger lantern than what I'm carrying. Well, that's cool. Always good when you get something that's bigger than what you have. 